Welcome, welcome back at any help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the radius of a circle if the area of that circle is 288 pi. So this is the circle. We know that this area is 288 pi. The question and the area means what is inside, just to be sure. The question is how much is the radius. For that reason, I'm going to use what I said here, the area of the circle is the product of pi and the square of its radius. So this is the formula for the area of the circle. And in this one, I'm going to replace area of 288 pi. And I'm going to have an equation now, 288 pi equals pi r squared. And in this one, you need to solve for r, so you can simplify pi by pi. That's one way to get r squared. Or, of course, you can just notice that the, you have pi on both sides, 288 times pi and pi times r squared, and cancel them out. So now the question is, um, we have this r squared equals to 88. How do we find r? For finding r, we're going to use the inverse operation of raising to the second power, which is taking square root square root of 288. And we don't need to put plus and minus because this is a problem in geometry. The radius will be always positive. So this is the answer in the radical form. However, it can be simplified. And the way I simplify it here if I do not see it, I'm going to break it down. So this is an even number, so I can divide by 2. And I get 144. Um, again, in this moment, I see 144 is a perfect square. It is nothing else than 12 square, right? So 288 is 144 times 2. And I can uh, use the radical rules. And this is square root of 144 times square root of 2. And finally, square root of 144 is 12 square root of 2. So the radius of this uh, circle is 12 square root of 2. If you need an approximation, you have to grab a calculator and use a calculator. Uh, if you do not see this square root of 144, keep uh, breaking down this 144 until you notice perfect squares. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.